This market continues to be one of the more difficult markets to systematically day trade. Very uh, challenging. Um, so here are the trades on the day. Strange patterns in the market. Um, if you're not if you're not used to watching the market all the time, you may may not uh, recognize this. Um, just very different. Huge gap up on Monday, sell off, and then just the snaking pattern each day. Just constant mean reversion. Chop, 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 chop. Looks like it's going to sell off, and then by the end of the day, you know, you're just pretty much an S pattern around S pattern around the midline, and so it's it's a uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I don't know, they may try to run at the highs again on Friday, and it's just really different, a different world we're in right now with the election. I would recommend uh, checking your capital and maybe potentially waiting for the portfolios to recover from a drawdown, and then wait for it to pull back again, because uh, it's very, very brutal right now, more so than I've seen it in years, and we, we are uh, constantly researching this market, staying up pretty late uh, trying to find these patterns. The opposite patterns are working uh, now, but opposite patterns haven't worked. And so what do you do in that situation? So Cobra 3 evening the S&P looked like we were going to have a good sell-off today with Powell saying the economy was weaker than expected and the market sold off and then just reversed at the end of the day. Dip buyers are always there. Um, a lot of uh, strange patterns. Uh, and at new highs, can eventually lead to a bigger bear market. I do anticipate some bearish uh, price action in this market, but I don't uh, I don't know when that will happen. I wouldn't I'm always trading for new highs with the anticipation of uh, ready to short it uh, on the next bear market too. So why you're a why you're bearish you might want to consider uh, taking long trades into your eventual short position if that makes sense. Uh, from a discretionary basis, if you're doing that on a discretionary basis, adaptive moving average, uh, you see this snaking pattern, long, loss, short, up pretty good right here at three, four, at 245 central, and you know gave back a lot. Uh, the low is uh, 3515, and then the market rallied back up here and closed at 3538, so 22 points in the last 30 minutes. So my, uh, minus 3750. It was up a thousand on that trade uh, right here and gave it back uh, almost a thousand. So it gave it back two break even. So minus 37.50, 60 minute breakout short down on the day on the on a short and then a long trade. So you have um, minus 23.50 here on the day and then you have a 60 minute breakout. Went long, no follow through, stopped out. Going to rally again, no follow through, stopped out. And just in the channel all week, after after Monday's big huge run up, this is the 24 hour session, so you can see what it did Sunday night. And it did this to gap up on Monday. This is pre market, and then it gapped up on Monday. And then it's been in a channel, wide ranging channel since, back and forth, back and forth. And that was 60 minute breakout. Good news was uh, Night Trader profitable on the day. Um, I'm going to go back. I was looking at some old trades here. This is back during the pandemic of 313.20. I got to roll this back to today. So the highlights were Night Trader up, hit its profit target on the day. Similar move. Market goes down, then rallies, and then rolls over, and then rallies. And uh, so Night Trader, four winners in a row after that most recent drawdown. It's helping our 25K, 50K portfolio. Gap Fill Master was up on the day. Uh, plus 175, uh, mirror stopped out, could not hit its profit target, rolled over, stopped out. I mean, you see on these one-minute charts, sell-off, chop, 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 rally. I looked at a gap uh, continuation and reverse strategy that we looked at yesterday. It lost today, too. A lot of the new strategies are also down. Uh, Asia long, it won't, there's no follow-through on these, on these long trades. So trying to buy those dips, and it won't. It won't follow through. Um, maybe it will tonight. Maybe we'll get a rally tonight. See if these strategies get in and we get a rally. So, uh, you know, challenging, challenging market. Uh, even the NASDAQ. Uh, tick count trend. Nice trade at the end of the day. Plus 575. Tick pulsing. QB12 minus 625. 
uh, just constantly wants to reverse. They just really want to. They just really want to step in and pop it up. Um, 60-minute breakout in Q minus 975 on the day. Stop, or minus 1025 stopped out. No follow-through on that breakout trade. Stock index swing. No trades. That was yesterday's trade. Gap continuation. The 300 and $700 version once again lost on the day on 2019 gap continuation. So opposite of that strategy would be working like a charm for a while. Uh, the last couple of months, the opposite of the strategy would just be incredible. So if the market breaks out to new highs on a gap continuation, you short it. If it breaks out to new lows on a gap continuation, you buy it. And that pattern has not worked, uh, but it has worked the last couple of months. Cobra 3 uh, stopped out on this counter trend rally. We needed a little bit bigger stop. I feel like we're saying that a lot. I feel like we're in a broken record here talking about chop, talking about stops that are too high. And you know you just get this chop at the end of the day, propping up price action right here. No further selling after 145 really. It Try to take that out and rally it, take that out and rally it. So every time they take out these lows, boom, it pops. Take out that low, boom, it pops. And so um, we've, we've shown strategies that, that you can use to do that, but um, they have such a short record of the last couple of months and not a good strategy to trade long term. And so uh, tricky, to, uh, and tricky, to, tricky to say, hey, I want to trade a strategy that's only worked the last two months all of a sudden. Uh, gold. We had Cobra Gold was a highlight on the day, profitable, plus 575, hit its profit target. Silver, no trades on the day. Crude Oil, uh, SR Counter Trend 3, A and B, hit its profit target. Uh, the profit target is 475, but it ups, it's up 7025 on the day because um, it ended down. This measures the daily P&L. So at the close yesterday, it was down. And now it is uh, hit that 725 profit target today. Uh, Cover crude aggressive, minus 645. Natural gas, no trades on the day. Arbob, no trades on the day. Euro, short trade, 6875. Not much range there. Soybeans, uh, holding up at uh, 1150 area. We, knew, we noticed that there was a quite a bit of chop at the 1050 area, so it came into 1050. It chopped in this area for a while. Now it's up in the 1150 area, so maybe it'll chop up here in a while. Maybe patterns that worked in the 1050 area will work in the 1150 area. Buying the dip, that's a consideration to take. Uh, if you think of a stair step higher after uh, spending some time at 1150, uh, maybe it'll move higher, or maybe it'll move higher sooner rather than later. So. Those are the trades on the day. Let's look at some. Uh, let's look at the um, the beta strategies. First of all, here's Chopper. Chopper Gold was up 2,000. Um, these are indicators of strategies we don't trade, and indicative of how difficult this market is. The Chopper Gold has pulled back. Uh, the Chopper NQ. We talked about this. How well it's done since September, and how the last time we talked about it was in this drawdown two days ago, and then yesterday. Um, it was up on the session, up almost $8,000 on the session. Look at how well it caught those moves um, and how well it's done since September. So yesterday's session, um, just catching all these moves right here. Not, not every trade is correct, but it just, it's just catching all these moves, and it's up nearly $8,000. And here it is. here's the equity curve once again. This is not a strategy that works well because it is working so well. Um, it's kind of indicative of how our strategies are having a challenging time. The, a strategy like this would normally go straight down, but since September 14th, this is it's gone up. It's a choppy uptrend, but it's uh, it's up. So that's Chopper. Those are the latest trades on Chopper. Uh, beta strategies. VSD was down two trades today after a big winner last night. New equity peaks last night. That's been a highlight for us. And we have this this one back. It actually, um, well, it hasn't traded in a while. It it is the dynamic tick pullback E mini S and P. Um, Viper up 200 on the day. Gap continuation. The big stop loss was down on the day. Also, uh, the $700 stop losses look very small. And EVP plus 460 on the day. Tick fader. It was um, it's up on the day plus 375, 
And those are the new strategies. Nothing, nothing great. Um, we're mainly focused on VSD and gap continuation, big stop loss. Let's look at gap continuation in reverse from yesterday. So here is gap continuation in reverse. We talked about this yesterday. A new strategy. It is down today. Uh, it was the ideal type of market. Not much of a continuation, but a gap down. And then it did continue here. And then it did reverse from way down here at the very end of the day. Um, and so it was down on the day also. Here is the equity curve for this strategy. One little loss at that. And so uh, I'm going to look at adding this to the portfolio calculator and taking a look. I'm taking a look at the portfolios. A lot of the new strategies haven't done much better. And so a lot of these strategies are in small drawdowns, some a little bit larger than others. But they're all in normal drawdowns at the same time, so diversity is challenging for us because this market is is uncharacteristic behavior. I think just still the election results are outstanding. Um, a lot of uncertainty out there as to what what is going to happen over the next few months um, with coronavirus and which administration will be in office and what their policies will be and how will that affect the stock market. And so. Um, you know, this chop could last a while. I don't know. I would I would have anticipated it would have been done by now, but it, since it's it, since it continues, um, be very careful. Scale back if you have to. Trade less strategies. Pause trading if you have to, and then wait for these wait for the market to return to a more normal environment. This could change at any moment, though. That's the risk. So if you're in a drawdown and you get out, it could run away without you. But if you are limited in your capital, you have to preserve capital too at times like this. Sometimes you have to scale back, trade smaller, build it back up, and go from there. And so that is where we are um, on the on the trades on the day. I'll have the latest portfolio results um, either tonight or tomorrow morning through November the 12th.